Hey guys, uh, welcome back for another review. I'm getting into these reviews just like that now every day. So, um, here for another one. Uh, this is probably one of my last ones I'm doing because I really have nothing else to do one on. So, uh, yeah, this is, um, a Abin Costello, uh, the Complete Universal Pictures Collection. I got this off Amazon for like around eighty, ninety dollars because I'm a big Abin Costello fan. It comes with, um, Every one of their movies and uh, I need some other bonus stuff. So I like to show you the box because it has all their um, promotional artwork for some of their movies. We got some four movies over here. We'll get into them later. Three more, two more right there. And the sides, some more. Uh, then there's the back. The other side. And then the bottom, I actually wanted to keep this on, so if I ever do a review, it has all the information on it. Um, so we got, get ready to laugh, I don't know if you can actually, let me see if I can focus. Yep, you can, uh, I'm not going to read that, to save time, but you guys can pause that and read that. Uh, we got uh, the book, it's like it comes with a little book here, you know you got plus, the book. You know, hours of bonus features, you can read that. And then if you guys want to pause and watch and look at all those, you can. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to go on to the main feature. It's kind of like a little treasure chest. So in the inside cover, we have like a movie ticket kind of with showing the discs and what's on them. Uh... Yeah, so then we have all the discs. Very nice. I'm going to show you guys... Oh, that one's dented a little. I'm going to show you guys the book first. Um, so, yes, it just... I'm not going to show individual pages. But we got, um, you know, all the contents. Introduction. And uh, Legacy... By the numbers, 21 years, this is interesting, 21 years as a team, 36 motion pictures, 52 episodes of the Abing Cello Show, 20 live TV appearances in the Comedy Hour, 460 plus radio broadcasts, 274 Broadway performances in Streets of Paris, uh, 156 anime cartoons, 62 comic books, 8 years as the ten, top 10 box office stars, Six stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, three Hall of Fame inductions, and one commemorative postage stamp. I don't get how that's any importance. But now we just they go basically they go through all the film. I mean, one night in the tropics is the first film as an example. They give you a description of the film, the movie poster at that time, some uh, pictures, the release date, uh, the classic routines or bits. Here we got two times for five, smoking, who's on first, Joan and the Whale, 365 days equals firing, and mustard. Um, then you got some trivia in each of them. So, I'm not going to be going through the whole book, but if you guys want to see all these trivia and bits in the whole book, then just comment, and I'll do a uh, separate video. So, and then it just goes through the rest of the movies. That's the book. Now I'm going to go through all the discs. So we got disc one through two. Four movies. One Night in the Tropics. Buck Privates. In the Navy. And Hold That Ghost. Hold That Ghost was actually the first Evan Costello I've ever seen. It's a very good one. I'd recommend it. On the back, you just got the information about the movie, actors, and, uh, yeah. The year they were made. It's interesting. So they, what should we call it? One Night in the Tropics is 1940. To show you how fast they made movies back then, Buck Privates, In the Navy, and Hold That Ghost all came out in 1941. So they were making like movie. They made. I heard they made a movie in like three, in like a month. I heard they they were done with a whole movie. So they came out like flying. Inside you got the disc, and behind the disc you got some pictures from the movie. Uh, in the Navy, which is a very funny one, and hold that ghost. 
Okay, now let's go on to this. Put that in backwards. Now let's go on to this. Three through four. Again, we got some new ones. Keep them flying. Ride them, cowboy. Pardon my sarong. And who done it? And then just the back. If you wanna pause that. See, even keep them flying is also 1941. It's amazing. All 1942 after that. Keep them flying. Ride them, cowboy. Pardon my sarong. Who done it? I just love them so. Okay, so next we got this five through six with it ain't hay, which is a new one that I've never seen before. That's not usually on other little sets of them. Uh, hit the ice in society, and here come the coeds. Actually, um, might watch in society tonight with my friend because we're kind of watching them in order. So that's our next one. It ain't hay. Hit the ice in society. Here come the coeds. Uh, very. Those are very funny ones. Next we have this seven through eight. Uh, the naughty nineties. Uh, little giant. Time of their lives, which is a funny one I recommend. And Buck Privates Come Home, the sequel to Buck Privates. Um, and then this is the back. I think I might have forgot to show the back of the other ones, but they're basically just the same. Uh, yes. I have to show inside. Naughty 90s, Little Giant, Time of Their Lives, and Buck Privates Come Home. Very interesting. Okay, let's go through uh, 9 through 10 now. Okay, we got The Wistful Widow of Wagon Gap. Having saw me Frankenstein, which is the most classic one. Uh, Mexican Hayride. And having saw me the killer, Boris Karloff, which I've never seen before. Uh, here's the back for those of you who care. Um, and then Whistle Widow, Frankenstein, Mexican Hayride, and Killer. Okay. So now we got this 11 through. Come on, go in. 11 through 12, in the Foreign Legion, uh, they actually, Hold That Ghost is the first full movie I've seen, but the first time I, I found out about Adam Costello, I turned on the TV and there was a clip from Foreign Legion when they were in the desert seeing mirages and stuff, and I just thought it was hilarious, and then I ended up watching more Adam Costello, Invisible Man, Coming Around the Mountain, and Lost in Alaska. In the back, for those of you who care, uh, Foreign Legion, sticking their tongue out, <laughs> uh, Invisible Man, Coming Around the Mountain, and Lost in Alaska, which, uh, don't come in, okay, last one, we have this 1315, Go to Mars, Meet Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, The Keystone Cops, and their last film together, Meet the Mummy. Uh, and there's some bonus features on this one, too, which is The World of Abin Costello, Abin Costello Meet Jerry Seinfeld, and Abin Costello Meet the Monsters, which uh, some of them are made very later. They're both dead, I think. Um, Abin Costello Go to Mars. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, um, Keystone Cops is over there, why is it so blurry, there you go, uh, Meet the Mummy, and the World of Adam Costello, and having some Meet the Monsters, okay, so, uh, that's basically the whole set, um, comment if you like it, and if you want me to do that extra video showing the booklet, and, uh, yeah, that's basically it. So I'll see you guys next time with another review. Bye.